Buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, so uh, follow me on this. I'm going to read two verses from Luke chapter 11, verses 50 and 51. That the blood of all of the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. All right, so follow me on this. In uh, Kaufman's co uh, commentary here, I, I don't know who the guy is. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show the error. So let me read this uh, sentence here all the way up to here. That will be good enough. The prophecy is here extended by Jesus to reveal the fate of the chosen people. The long ages of their rebellious conduct against God would at last be resolved in the final hardening, hardening and overthrow of their nation, coupled with the scattering of the Jews all over the earth, the primary fulfillment of which occurred less than a generation afterward in the Jewish-Roman War, which destroyed the holy city in 70 AD. Okay? Now, it's just, this is all garbage including what I just read. So that's the error. Now let me show you how, why it's an error, an obvious error. And um, I then show you the truth. I'm going to try to make this short and simple. Okay, so first of all, uh, when you read the sentence, the chosen people, he's talking about people that reject the Lord Jesus Christ, which is yeah, it's it's insanity, okay. So to clarify that, hey, it, this goes all the way back to uh, Genesis three, when the Lord said to the serpent, "I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed." and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Talking about Christ. Christ is going to stomp his foot on the head of the serpent. So if we go here to Galatians chapter 3, um, and here, and he saith not seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. All right, so the promises to Abraham and his seed were not seeds, but seed. Okay, into thy seed, which is Christ. So that seed of Abraham is Christ. And if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So the promise was never to uh, flesh. All right, so he is made of all nations one blood. So we're all of one blood. There's no special blood. There's no special bloodline. It's always been a spiritual thing. Okay, I don't know how else to say it. It's a spiritual seed in Christ. And if you be Christ, then are you Abraham seed and heirs according to the promise. That's important. Really, really important. And he saith not seeds as of many, but as of one and thy seed, which is Christ. So, again, if you reject Jesus Christ, you're out of the loop, right? You're not saved. It's only when you are born of the Spirit of God. Just as Jesus says in John chapter 3, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Alright. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. Alright. So, that's important because now that completely destroys the idea that there are people saved 
simply because they were born, you know, of, uh, you know, their mother and dad, right? <clears throat> That's, I mean, the idea is ridiculous. It's, a lot of people believe it. All right, so I don't want to, there's no way I can help those people and convince them. They, they have all, um, they have everything they need to see it for themselves. They just don't want to see it. Okay, and it's because they're lacking faith. Okay, coupled with the scattering of the, of the Jews all over the earth. All right, so, um, uh, let me just make a quick note here that you, you, you notice that there are Christians, saved people all over the world, okay? Don't confuse that. The, pr the primary fulfillment of which occurred less than a generation after the Jewish-Roman War, which destroyed the holy city in 70 AD. Okay, so let's destroy that one. All right. First of all, wait a second. I gotta think here. Oh no, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I gotta think. I do gotta think. You know, I think. Oh, I think it's good to think, right? I think. Galatians four. That's what it was. Okay, so Galatians four, the next chapter. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem above in Galatians chapter 4 Jerusalem the holy city is above Kaufman doesn't get it he thinks the holy city Jerusalem which is above was destroyed in 70 AD. Alright. Uh, that's ridiculous. You know that's not true. That alone should be enough to discredit and disprove this idea of 70 AD being anything of any biblical relevance whatsoever. Okay, there's none. All right, those anybody preaching 70 AD anything is completely ignorant. They're blind. They're making fools out of themselves. And what are they trying to gain? Popularity? Well, okay, you got it. You're popular. All right, but you don't have the truth. All right, so if we go to Go back to Luke. Um, here, let me do it this way. Let's see if I can do it this way. Oh, no. No, no, not Luke. John, what am I talking about? No idea. No idea what I'm talking about. Except here in John chapter 2, you know, there's a conversation between Jesus and, and, and the Jews. And Jesus says, hey, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. In three days. And those guys are like, man, 40 and 6 years was this temple and building and that will thou rear it up in three days? I mean, you think about how many men it took how much effort was put into building this temple for 46 years and here comes Jesus and he says destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days in three days and they you know they're just, what are you talking are, are you nuts are you nuts See, they didn't understand. And Kaufman doesn't understand. Okay? The prophecies 
of the destruction of the temple was fulfilled when Jesus laid down his life 70 AD has no biblical rel relevance whatsoever none whatsoever the prophecies are about Jesus in the body our body is a temple think about Genesis 1 verse 26 and let us make them or let us make man in our image after our likeness right so we are in this body which is a temple and Jesus is God who came into our body into our temple and laid down his life he let them kill him that temple was destroyed and then he raised it back up after three days okay and then he ascended to heaven to prepare a place for us that where he is there we may be also right so when he returns which is at the end of the world he will gather us unto himself right first the dead in Christ then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord again the city of God is above it's not in the Middle East there is no biblical relevance whatsoever in regards to anything that happened in 70 AD none whatsoever has none the nothing it's a complete misunderstanding of the simple Word of God it's incredible all right, so hopefully uh, this might be a little help to somebody. That's all. I just want to help people to understand the Word of God. It's not complicated. It's rather simple. And it's all this stuff that really you should know. You should already know this. But as new believers, it takes time. And just like it did with me. It takes time for your eyes to be open for you to see um, the truth simply because there are so many deceivers out there it's worse than it's ever been and it's only getting worse okay and as it says in uh, you know Matthew 24 mark 13 Luke 21 let's just go here to Matthew 24 except those days be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened if God allowed things to continue as they are there would come a point to where there be nobody saved so it stands to reason that we have so many deceivers in the world today and this right here red flag red flag every single time somebody tries to fit 70 AD into the Bible that's an immediate red flag and they will always be wrong always 70 AD has no biblical relevance what so ever.